this? I think the major lesson from a uh, communications personal point of view to take home, um, it's the need to communicate a little bit more about um, the challenges of nutrition and how those influence or affect achieving food security for all. I think there's a lot to be done that we can upscale or create an awareness and share the knowledge that there is um, from research that is being conducted across the world. I think there's a scope for collaborating with one another, looking at what challenges we face from across the world and trying to find some kind of commonalities and solutions to address nu nutrition and transform it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really quite exciting, you know, learning with people from other countries, you know, learning from people's multi-country experiences. Uh, and, and the couple of days that I've spent here, what I realized is that there's really need to look at what we're doing down there um, especially making sure we streamline our interventions based on evidence. I have actually been able to learn that quite a number of interventions we are putting on ground uh, to transform nutrition are not really evidence-based. It's based on what we think is working. Uh, but what we've learned so far, we've learned to understand that it's not everything that you think is working that's actually working. I have learned that, for instance, water and sanitation has to be child-centered. Uh, so my intention is to take back this kind of evidence back to my program and realign my own thinking, my own strategic plan and development plans to make sure that they are oriented based on evidence. So I think that's the most important point I've learned so far here. So the lesson I'll take back to Mozambique from the nutrition, transforming nutrition course would be there isn't a one-size-fits-all um, solution. Um, the, 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 the solutions or the interventions should be context-based and, and there has to be some sort of problem analysis um, done or undertaken before the interventions are chosen. The one lesson that I'll take away with me from the Transforming Nutrition Short Course is on providing an enabling environment for policy makers to be able to advance nutrition in our countries, specifically providing adequate human resources, the capacity and financial resources for nutrition and how to advocate at those levels using evidence. If I could do one thing right now to transform nutrition, it would be to get more ministers of finance to be as interested in child growth as they are in economic growth. Um, so I think that one thing would be to help more people understand, um, firstly, the critical importance of nutrition for development and the key actions that they can take within where they sit right now, whether they're presidents, prime ministers, chief ministers, working within sectors, um, researchers. So I think people need to understand what role they can play right now. And this is what I think we are trying to do within the research and transform nutrition and, and specifically with the course that, that we're teaching is really help people understand why nutrition is important and what they can do. And I think the more people understand that, the more enabled they themselves would be to, you know, take things forward.